uh, the uh, Gospel according uh, to uh, John. John chapter 4. When therefore the Lord knew that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus was making and baptizing more disciples than John, although Jesus himself was not baptizing, but his disciples were, he left Judea and departed again into Galilee, and he had to pass through Samaria, so he came to a city of Samaria called Sinkar. And near the uh, parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. And Jacob's well was there. And Jesus therefore being wearied uh, from his journey was sitting there by the well. It was about the sixth hour. And there came a woman of Samaria to draw water. And Jesus said to her, hey, give me a drink. And for his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. And the Samaritan woman therefore said to him, How is it that you, being a Jew, ask me for a drink, since I am a Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Now Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is who is says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. And she said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? You are not greater than our father Jacob, are you? Who gave us the well and drank of it himself and his sons and his cattle? And Jesus answered and said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water shall thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. And but the water that I shall give him shall become in him a well of water springing up to eternal life. Uh, the woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so I will not be thirsty, nor come all the way here to draw. He said to her, Go call your husband and come here. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. And Jesus said to her, You have a well said, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one whom you now have is not your husband. And this you have said truly. And the woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, and you people say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. And Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, at an hour is coming when neither in this mountain nor in Jerusalem shall you worship the Father. You worship that which you do not know. We worship that which we know for salvation is from the Jews. But an hour is coming, and now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and truth. For such people the Father seeks to be his worshipers. A God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. And the woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, he who is called Christ. And when that one comes, he will declare all things to us. And Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am a he. And at this point, his disciples came and they marveled that he had been speaking with a woman. Yet no one said, what do you seek or why do you speak with her? So the woman left her water pot and went into the city and said to the men, Come see a man who told me all the things that I have done. This is not the Christ, is it? And they went out of the city and were coming to him. And in the meanwhile, the disciples were requesting him, saying, Rabbi, eat. And he said to them, I have food to eat that you do not know about. And the disciples therefore were saying to one another, No one has brought him anything to eat. And did he? And Jesus said to him, My food is to do with the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. Do you not say there are yet four months and there comes the harvest? Behold, I say to you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields that they are white for harvest. 
Already he who reaps is receiving wages and is gathering fruit for life eternally. He who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. For in this case the saying is true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap for which you have not labored. Others have labored and you have entered into their labor. And from that city, many of the Samaritans believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified. He told me all the things that I have done. So when the Samaritans came to him, they were asking him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his word. And they were saying to the woman, it is no longer because of what you said that we believe, for we have heard for ourselves and know that this one in indeed the Savior of the world. And after the two days he went forth from there into Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his own country. So when he came to Galilee, the Galileans received him, having seen all the things that he did in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves also went to the feast. He came therefore again to Cana, of Galilee where he had made the water wine and there was a certain royal official whose son was sick at Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had come out of Judea to Galilee, he went to him and was requesting him to come down and heal his son for he was at the point of death. And Jesus therefore said to him, unless you people see signs and wonders, you simply will not believe. And the royal official said to him, sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, Go your way, your son lives. The man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him, and he started off. And as he was now going down, his slaves met him and saying that his son was living. And he inquired of them the hour when he began to get better. And they said therefore to him, Yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him. And so the father knew that it was at that hour in which Jesus said to him, Your son lives, and he himself believed and his whole household. Uh, this is again a second sign that Jesus performed when he had come out of uh, Judea into uh, Galilee. Uh, praise be to the Lord uh, Jesus Christ. Amen.